I'll see about stopping after this, but I want to do one more because I'm really into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sword Wars Plays FTL. Let's just get right into it. The data you carry is filed to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for your journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. All right. Let's go here. Go upwards. Back still killing me, but I don't know what's going to your hails. <laughs> Let's go here. Uh, I got. You know what? I, sh I should have been between episodes. Got some meds. Some medication for my back. Arrive in a nebula and immediately see a message from an unknown source. Prepare to be boarded with a stag from the nebula. There's no way to tell where it came from, but your shots being fired upon the ship. Oh, you gotta be actually shitting me. Did one of them die? Three, I swear there was four of them. No, there was only three of them. Wasn't there. Oh, you want some more pets, don't you? Good girl. Okay. Go up here. Come to the sector and envelope set by a plam storm and automated rebel scout station to speak and boost to attack. Okay. So you can't do you can't hurt me, but I can hurt you. Auto fire. I'll be back. I'm gonna grab some medication. This is the kind of content you pay to see through ad view, which I do not have yet, but maybe will one day. Because Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, this this kind of content. I this was going for a second. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to forget about you, the viewer. Okay. Let's get back in position here. Let's get back in gaming position. Like a pro gamer. Oh, sorry, Luna. Mm. Okay, stimulants as in muscle relaxer for my back hurting? Check. Uh, Got the good luck charm, Luna, check. Move forward. Hopefully stop making so much uh, interference on the mic, check. The ship explodes behind scrap materials, check. And we're all set. Let's go back to position. Go here. I do this at the beginning of the episode too, that's really great. Find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby. The remains of battle. You begin to harvest some usable debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming on board, followed by shots of a boarding party. Not again. At least we got some scrap this time for it, but still. Like, come on, man. You know what I mean? I 
want some more attention, huh? Yeah. Is that what you want? You gotta close the door, open up all the doors. Uh, here comes the oxygen, do 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 do. Here comes the O to it, I say. It's alright. Here comes the O to. <laughs> there you go, that's how you do it. Here comes the O to it, I say. It's alright. <laughs> okay, went back to position. Ah, 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 can't breathe. Say O2. Something like that. I don't know. Let's go here. I don't know. Something like that. He attacked the automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Detecting a high threat, the automated ship moves into engage the earth ship. Should turn these on a little bit faster. Come here. Come here, poor girl. I want to turn this on. No. Nah, whatever. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted. She's trying to pet my dog. She got up here. I think she wants more attention. I feel bad for her. She was gone. Uh, I was. She was with her over uh, when I was gone in Chicago. She stayed with my grandpa. Um, apparently, she gets home. She misses me. This is adorable. But I also feel bad because I'm like going away. She wants to go home and see me. I'm just not there. She's like, why can't I go home, Grandpa? Why can't I go home? You should break apart and you quickly salvage what you can. The apple tail, so you had to scout destroy. Thanks for the help. Even if that's not stopped by the scout, just take some the house. I'm trying to give her a little bit extra attention. As you know, we have enough with uh, Crystal Vengeance to get something cool here. It is much from a nearby planet in case the outpost below, which our supplies to travelers. You send them down and away party to investigate. Back of batteries, kind of cool. Real quick, is there another shop? No. Back of batteries, kind of cool. Back of batteries, kind of cool. Uh, scan show a remote summon being blockaded by a pirate ship. You hit a may hastily message you saying, Say all this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. Attack that damn pirate. You ask for it. They pull away from the planet and move into engage. I did ask for it because I want to kill you. If you're very good, very good, true, and good points. Very true and good points. Um. I think anything in Chicago. All right, we give up for terrible supply thing, anyways. Actually, it ain't a bad deal. C can can drill? We also gotta get everyone in position. I'm realizing. Yeah, I'm still here gonna pet you. Don't worry. What happened else in Chicago? It wasn't really anything quite crazy, like that I saw that happened down there or anything. Um. You know, like I said, the crazy thing that happened was losing the keys, which sucked. Okay, let's go to this dress. Maybe. I don't know. This is there's, there's some options. We got some options. In fact, I'm gonna go here. We're gonna wait on the stress beacon. I got options. What's popping? Uh, thrilling space station, or you see this thrilling space station with heavy damage. We see a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need drone parts to speed up the repairs. So buy some from you if you have any extra. Well, I have two, but you won't accept that. So, sorry. Uh, also real quick. Want me to fix that for you, buddy? There, how better for you? Is that what you wanted? Okay. Let's 
go here in the stress. Yeah, you got you got you so comfy. And I'm a scout, uh, it's point of speaking, he attempts to hide by a nearby moon, but it finds you and begins his assault. Man, I'm having back problems again. I need to stop after this run. Okay, let's continue. Like I said, some future series get to look forward to is uh, XCOM, and again, we're bringing back XCOM. And we're not starting a new run, we're going to start off where we left off, but it will definitely be like a season 2 for it. Uh, ow. And we're also doing some Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, curse run. No matter what, when we get to that PC, like I said, if, if, if I can get this other one, the, like the Mac I'm right now playing on working for it, then we'll probably do that. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explore around a little bit. And see what's uh, see what I can get, you know. See like what's popping. I got options, you know. Jack Harlow. The ship explodes. The mines expansion collection scrap material. You guys want to fix that up? You're a good girl. Um. Let me look excited about that. One, one other series I want to kind of try to... I want to start doing some, like, art stuff really bad. And that's something I'm actually really looking forward to when I get to game PC. Because I'll be able to stream that. And I'll be something I want to do more often. Just do, like, a artful morning maybe on Mondays and Wednesdays. Not Tuesdays and Thursdays because I have, uh, have class. I'm going to have to do that to the evening. Oh, let's go, finally. As soon as you arrive uh, at the distress signal, shot the fire. It's a trap. Let's get, where are my sticky notes at? They under here. This is like the most professional recording ever. They're not there as well. This is funny. Thank you for one of those missed. They're all right here, where they should be. The ship is part of the FTL tribe. Looks like they're trying to escape. Nothing's gonna happen. No sir. Okay. Cross that one out. That's. That's that's nothing. That the, the the five kills from another one run I don't even remember. Nothing. You know what is something? This the uh, I'm not gonna quote that. I was gonna do a Dan Geesling quote, but for one, I'm trying to like kinda of back off on that a little bit, even though I don't do it too much anyways or bring acknowledgement to it at least. Uh but also too it's because it's the fight's a one of the funny ones about you know, focusing on the uh five Finches in front of your face. Oh, that's just such a weird saying, so I'm gonna say. Once you arrive, you screen to light up, light up with warnings, and nearby pirates use uh, fancy hacking tools. I'm gonna try to shut down your engines. Your crew keeps it barely operational as we move to attack. <laughs> that one that, that one always gets me a little bit. Oh, I didn't say the positions! A very super positions. No, oh, something like that. This doesn't change a goddamn thing. I was still taking damage. Okay, let's go here. But yeah, I really want to start doing like some arts. Fuck you. No, tech the weapons, please. Unfortunately, a bit of damage, but we're okay. So yeah, I want to start doing some art stuff, and I also want to do like a, uh, along with that, it like make uh, kind of like a little series. I want to uh, do some music stuff too along with that, but I want to play a uh, musician, do like a playthrough of that maybe on this channel. I might do the art stuff even on like on another channel, because I have a few channels. One for like highlights and this like maybe like uh, commentary style, like, uh, you know, you got SOG, you got uh, Moist Critical, you know, you got, you got a whole bunch of them. You got... You got your I dubs and your H3 productions from before. Uh, well, you know, there's maybe some of the older commentators. With the power ship destroys, your ship system is sort of full of functionality. Saturate camp from the debris. Let's get our heavy laser. Uh, 
or heavy uh, heavy crystal. Let's save these positions and I mean, we could go distress and then head for the exit. Eh, eh, frick it, why not? You find them ships fleeing a small space station. Hey, mask, what's wrong? Help, we're being overrun by some giant space spiders. Not now, nah, it's okay. Your crew boards the station, cautiously move between the corridors. Suddenly, a man sized arachnid bursts from the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock before sleep before counting for everyone. No, not even made it back. I do want someone on weapons. Giles, you're gonna be on weapons. This is so far, far away. Safe positions. Okay, well, if we're not gonna make the exit, we're definitely going to the store. There's only one better speaking and showing heavy damage. You see a message on a console. Greetings, traveler. You've been crippled by a band of pirates forced to sell or less for valuable for me equipment. Too bad. Not gonna be able to get it. You know what? I'm just gonna do this this the really really basic. Like this, 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 this. And we're having a pretty exit. You find the exit beacon, but draw sky first. You must five long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Not too worried about it. But we do gotta activate this like right away. That'll speed things up significantly. Pretty sure these are synced up to work pretty well together, but maybe not. Looks like not. I was completely wrong about that. But apparently, I just can't hit for shit, so it doesn't matter. Don't go for my piloting. Don't do it. Okay, you didn't. I was about, I was like freaking out a little bit internally, like, oh no, comedic timing's about to hit, isn't it? Not, not again. Thank you. Okay. Come on, we're gonna jump, we're gonna jump, we're gonna jump. One possibility, well, two technically, but one, only one we can go through. Two, three, four, or three if we go upwards. So it's two possibilities here. I mean, this has got so much better probability down here, I think. Once I hate man's controlled sectors. We can, like, go here if this isn't a rock-controlled sector. This might be a stone-controlled sector. We can go... We can shoot between, like, this path or this path. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a weird map. I mean, I think... I think this is the better option, but I don't think really... Both ways, I think, have their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, you enter the tour... You enter the poorly charted airy space. Don't be home to the mantis. I'm sure your whole plane's up to scratch. You have enough fuel and tank to make it through. Okay, let's, uh, get going on this real quick. My back's starting to hurt less, but this doesn't mean we can't give up a good posture. I need to see a chiropractor again. I need to get some massages. So about that. Let's move that there. Turn on the med bay. You're a good girl. Gonna bring her to me, with me to Cleveland tomorrow. That's something that's going on. I'm going to Cleveland tomorrow to see my grandpa. Should be great. Let's go here. And I know we mean that facetiously. I mean, it's gonna be a good time. He lives right down by the lake. I can spend some time with him, spend time with family, you know. I'm gonna bring Luna with me. She's gonna have a good time. Exploring a new area, seeing someone new. At the beginning, you almost expect to fight with the mantis, but the beacon appears to be entirely devoid for other ships. Take the time to catch your breath and double check the ship's systems. Stress beacon. Not right, really expect to run to a rock ship here. <gasps> oh, I want to fight you so bad. Ah. <laughs> a smallest feeling ship flies over you as soon as you arrive. You prepare for to fight, which you would have, but you just form your dad FTL feel and can't jump. He, he, thank you. Here's some extra scrap as payments. Thank you. We could use some shop, but. Or we could use a shop, but. 
people if you see a transmission sorry sir it's nothing personal we're under orders I get nothing personal to you but i need your scrap you can't hurt me so i'm just gonna hurt you i hurt myself today I'm gonna have to take it easy. What else has been going on? It's not really too much more precise. That stuff. You know, I've had school going on, but I'm working on that still. So we're on employment. So I've gotten a stimulus check. Enemy appears to have the try. They're preparing to escape or trying to. Oh, that could happen. Come we're just focusing all our fire down on the med bay. Or on the piling system. You were because more armed than we thought. We surrendered. That's a good amount of fuel, but it's like sector two. I'll accept it. It's a good deal, but I reluctantly accept it. You value your life, and you said it's nothing personal, so I can actually I show a little bit of sympathy to you, sir, today. Uh, who knows why the man's would fetch so close to the sun? Perhaps make more of a challenge. Yes, sir. Oh, you need a. You need some attention. Honestly, you can help. No, 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 no. Yeah, take this down. <laughs> Casual, you can heal. Can't believe it caused hull damage. It's annoying. Please cause a lot of hull damage to them. Speed up this battle. The fire beat me to it. The ship explodes. We might grab materials. Close these doors. Open them up. Casual back in position. All these are bad. We, we gotta go for it. We checked and achieved an escape pod floating nearby. Because they're returning to space, we learned it's Mantis. Let's pry it open. A man burst out of the light pod. Screaming and claws his way into the corner. Rare survivor of Mantis camp, capa, captivity. He wants to calm the survivor of the crew for a time. Welcome aboard, Karis. You're a new shields person. Now we're back to full capacity. Would you look at that? A mantis ship engaging a civilian hails you. Sparks fly about the cockpit and as he yells, Stay out of this human or else you'll be next. It's filling ship. You frown, powered weapons, prepared to gate this ship. No, 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 not today. No, sir. Just really try to increase our chance of dodge like that. He'll be both up in a second. There, Karis got some revenge. Got some of his anger out for being held captive for so long and stuff floating out in space. You know. You know. Oh, man, my back. Uh, the man's ship breaks apart. Attempt to contact the civilian ship. Apparently, the ship that was being assaulted was a science festival. They thank you and offer a small reward. Okay, I gotta fix this. What's going on with this thing? Okay. If I unplug this, let's see. Because I keep bumping the mic cord, which is the problem here. If I go around like this, this all behind here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that helps. Who knows? Let's put this back on the charger as well. It's been charging for a while. I feel like charging. Uh, let's get this back plugged in. Again, this is the kind of content you pay to see with your ad dollars. Let's go here. Give them ad money, money. Let's go heal you two up. Not you three, you two. The band. Got nothing. 
Nothing interesting. Let's heal you guys up first. At least for Karis, for his sake. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna spike even more now. Here. Here we go. There. Hopefully, we're good. No, we're not. Because it's fucking, it's fucking cord. How am I, what am I supposed to do about this? Huh? There. That's what I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to put it behind the monitor, you dingus. This is, this, this doesn't feel right either. This, this doesn't seem right. But, yet... Sure enough, actually, it works pretty well now. Cool. Everyone back to position. Turn back on the engines. <laughs> that is some top tier quality content right there. Something red looms. It's the mantis. Move this back too. Now that actually works pretty well. It keeps that core out of the way, so it should be hitting a lot less. Okay, let's see if I can get myself a little bit closer here. So I can lean back in my chair a little bit easier. Oh god. Ah, jeez. You're dead. Amen. That's what they keep telling me. The ship... Oh my god. <laughs> the ship explodes when I stand to collect scrap of material. Okay, I'm gonna sit back because my back's killing me. You see, just go a little bit lower. When I got rid of, like, the bomb platform so I could roll into the desk easier, I gained one advantage but lost another. And that's having a desk at person height. Cause now, like, it's like the arms are slightly above the chair, so it's just really annoying when it comes to gaming. If I keep my arm off the like armrest, but oh well. So, look at that, I'm still bumping into the mic. <laughs> you see, we mentioned someone's feeling convoy. They are willing to look at some military supplies, and I was trying to prove the actors for an exchange. Yeah, we're not using like, any of that. You can you guys can you two heal up as well? We're gonna do a lot more fighting, I got a feeling. Is there a shop? Tis? Tis a shop? So I'm struggling mantis cargo ships headed for a known race. What's left their shield when you jump in? You power they power your weapons as show force and they reluctantly agree to offload some of the cargo to you for a price. Do you like cloaking? Can I can't buy it though, can I? Nah, nah. Not really, no. You need a better weapon, but like I don't like any of these weapons. I'm not going drones. It's just, it's just no need. Or maybe they just because we don't have weapons, but I just don't really feel like it. <laughs> this never works out well. I think we can go here, here, and exit. There's only here, but space debris and some uninhabitable planetoids. Well, that was a waste. But we should still be fine. This is, yeah, this, this is definitely better for my back. An automated rebel scout floating near this beacon. Spice pristine condition it appears to be deactivated. Let's attempt to download ship's data stores. Thank you, Lord, for the fight. The accident reactivated ship's AI, which immediately goes online and prepare for a fight. Should get more scrap out of this, I believe. Then we're back to position. Absolutely annoying. Oh man. How you stink, little man? You're like farming like a hound over here. Yes, you are a hound. Farming like a something that farts a lot, buddy. Ah shit, I should turn probably leaves back on. I'm not paying attention. Talk to my dog instead. God, where where's my life gone? Freak you. And your mom's a hoe. The 
Wow. Killing the love surprise one hit. They're, they're not, we're not gonna be dodging any more shots, I got a feeling. Good dog. Good dog. So the ship explodes, the vines crap material. Wait for these guys to do the thing. Get to the exit. Flex it. About to pull up Brexit. You know it. It's <laughs> not to get political or anything. I'm dealing with uh, politics on the other side of the world, but. You recognize a Barono slave trader. He ails and offers laborers for cheap. Let's tax labor scum. Let's go for your weapons, too. I need to invest in a better fan for this room because it's a little too loud. I actually I was looking around to find like the quietest fan. I found one that's like the quietest I'm probably gonna get, and it's a little it's a little bit smaller for fan too, but that'll be fine. I see something just for a nice little breeze under my desk. That won't make too much noise. So I'm we're probably gonna be investing one of those because it's a little bit it's a little bit hot here. So I'm gonna not take off all my clothes, but I'm gonna take off a possible layer of my clothes. Don't look okay, it's embarrassed. Oh god, I'm so so sexual when I bite, when I bump the mic with my chest like that. Oh ooh. <laughs> the slave ship destroyed and we'll continue the evil trade with many life's probably lost on that ship. Well, they didn't offer me any slaves to, you know, to lead the ship alive. So, what do you want me to do? That'll be going Angie Homeworlds. Uh, but that'll be for next episode. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.